KTRS. 852 here, Big 550 KTRS. Well, Jones in for a little baseball. The rep, STL rep, uh, STL rep.org is uh, where you, you get tickets for Satchel Page and the Kansas City Swing runs through April 10th at the rep. Joining us here is the one and only Satchel Page. He looks very similar to Robert Karma Robinson. Bang. <laughs> <laughs> and playing Buck O'Neill is Michael. Chenever. Chenever. I had it. <laughs> and I blew it. <laughs> Michael Chenever plays Buck O'Neill. Gentlemen, thank you for joining us. It's no good problem. to be here. Thank you for uh, us. heard this is unbelievably off the charts fantastic. It is an amazing really? show. I yeah. mean, I thought I meant it jinxed us a little bit because I say actually audiences are on their feet before we have our, our you know, our, our, our curtain call. Yeah. They're on their feet before the lights come up. And then they started taking a little slower, but 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 they're still everybody's on well, their everybody's feet. 80, yeah. They bro. love this they show because it has everything slower. from music to sure to you know jazz has everything. The in story it. is of Satchel Page. It's it's kind of a what if what happens if you put uh, white ball players and black ball players under the same roof because of a rain out. Uh, in the time when uh, Jackie Robinson has just started to break the color barrier, mm-hmm. um, not only in baseball but. I guess in America at the time. So it's a fictionalized story. <clears throat> yes. Okay. Uh, because they did play together and oh, yeah. st- and against each other during those the, times as well. The circumstances of how they come together are legit, but this actual what we do with it is kind of a what if take on these guys. Sure. Uh, for those who don't know, who are sort of new to the game, Satchel Page. How do you describe Satchel Page? Um, I would describe him as like a tall tale, like a Pecos Bill or um, you know a Johnny Appleseed type. Right. You know, a larger than life character. Who, but he was real. He was a real. Yeah, he a was real, real human being. Yes. But uh, I mean, a lot of the details of of how he became to be who he was. Kind of like lost to myth and lost to obscurity and things like yeah. that. So uh, played. Uh, finally, got a chance to play in the major leagues when he was. 42. He was the oldest, ma- still is the oldest uh, rookie in the majors. Yeah. Um, pitched up until he was 59, I believe. In the majors. That's amazing. Yeah, and one, something crazy. Yeah. And one of the nicest men I've ever had the honor of meeting was nope. Buck O'Neill. Yes. You met Buck O'Neill. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. incredible. Yeah. I met yeah. Buck O'Neill, and it was like I was in royalty. <laughs> the man who should have been bitter his whole life, yeah. all he did was spread love and joy for humans yep. and baseball. Yep. And met him a number of times could not have been a nicer man i've yeah. never met him but uh when we were doing the show out in kansas city uh it, um the negro baseball museum is there and yes. they were they were basically helping us with the play uh so we got to see a lot of the archival footage uh when we the writer director ricardo cotton and i myself um got to stand on the field of legends uh with these you know these people's bronze statues yes. uh Took a picture with sta- Satchel's bronze statues, like uh, like like they bronzed me and put me on the field. So. <laughs> <laughs> Cre- um, awesome. Buck O'Neill's role <laughs> in the in the play. Well, he's actually Satchel's closest friend in the play, so uh, he's more like you said. He's a, just a great guy. He's an ambassador for the Negro Leagues, and uh, he, there is, there are parts where he's. Um, he talks about his playing. He was a good hitter a couple of years before the war, World War II. But uh, overall, he should have been in the uh, um, the Hall of Fame. But uh, he lost by one vote. He lost by one vote. One vote one at the vote. end of his life. One vote. Yeah. 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 But yeah. then they gave, Tragedy. then they honored him as a player and an ambassador of the Negro League. So because he had such a great spirit. Yeah. So yeah, working with him was uh, very interesting because, uh, like you said, there there are points that he could be very bitter, but he wasn't. He yeah. wasn't at all. He felt like he was right on time for yeah. what he needed to do. It's one thing to be an actor. Yeah. It's another thing to be able to play baseball or at least to act <laughs> like you're playing baseball while acting. On a rotating stage, <laughs> you know, small stage. Yeah, but we, we do very well. We look like it. People say that we look like professional act- athletes. Did you have to do any training for that? Uh, I had to stop riding my skateboard for about six months <laughs> and uh, start stretching every day. <laughs> exactly. Get some uh, massages every day. Uh, Satchel Page and the Kansas City Swing through April 10th uh, at the Rep. Is this your first time in St. Louis? Yes. Uh, second time in St. Louis. Second time. Okay. Yeah. Uh, where are you guys in from? Um, I'm in from New York, yeah, All but right. uh, I'm originally from Detroit. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Uh, have you been to the Arch? Uh, they he went a couple weeks ago. I have not been. Right. I, I, it was closed. Closed. The day, the day we went. It's outrageous. So we did not get a chance to go up to. Have the Have you top. been to Ted Drews? 
Is that the barbecue joint? No, no. that's Pappy's. Eh. We went there. I went yesterday. Ooh. You went? Okay. I yeah. went there for my birthday. Okay. okay. Oh. Good. Uh, Ted awesome. Drews is frozen custard. Frozen custard. Frozen right. custard. Frozen right. custard. It's one of the things we just force you to do while you're visiting yes. here in St. Louis. Frozen I can be forced custard. to do a lot it's of things. Good, though. Right. It is good. Uh-huh. It's it's fantastic. No, it well, is. Well, Buck O'Neill would do it. So it's Buck would, O'Neill would do it. Absolutely <laughs> right. right. Exactly. Yeah, Buck O'Neill. All right. Uh, um, Satchel Page and the Kansas City Swing uh, at the rep through April 10th. So it's. Ends just before opening day, Bangarang. which is perfect because you get your hit of baseball, you get your 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 love of baseball before opening That's day. Right. Um, I went. I've been to the Negro League Hall of Fame twice really? now, wow. and I was saying this earlier on the show. Um, we don't have time to talk about it, but I've been to the uh, Afizi in Florence. I've been to the Louvre. The Negro League Hall of Fame is is one of the best museums Word. man has ever created. Word. Wow. It is. It is mind yeah. blowing. Mm-hmm. When you, it, I would recommend anybody to make a trip to Kansas City to go see it. I agree. It is tremendous. Uh, Satchel Page in the Kansas City Swing through April 10th at the Rep. Gentlemen, have a good time. Thanks for coming in. Thank no you. Problem. Thank you. All right, stay right there. It's 8:58.